always sunny, always sunny, always sunny, always sunny. What's up guys, it's Jefferson with the starters page and I have this really cool awesome backpack You can find them on Amazon by the company name global camera and this backpack is the egg snow Anti-theft and waterproof canvas backpack. It's really nice. Everything on here is really high-end quality Take a look at that stitch pattern right there the texture and everything on this bag just feels just high-end and Take a look at that waterproof pouch right there. It just really looks nice. Everything is accented and it just works really well with this. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you guys every single pocket. And if you guys haven't seen my other video, make sure you guys click on this video right here. And this would lead you to that video. I did do a what's in my bag video showing you guys pretty much what fits in here and what I use it for, things like that, what I also put in, obviously. With that said, this is an empty backpack right now, and the reason being is because I really want to show you exactly how it looks without it having anything, so you guys could have a better idea and feel exactly how it looks before you guys purchase this. Alright guys, so with that said, let's just jump in and take it for a spin. Alright, so let's start off with the camera pouch first and then we'll work our way to the sides and then go up. So let's open this part up right here first. And then when you open that up, it exposes the pretty much the camera layer of this portion. And the cool part about this is that you're able to pretty much accessorize this whole layout according to how you want it so let me take off this whole padding so i absolutely really like this backpack just because you're able to put it the way you want it you you have strips right here velcro stripping right there on the bottom and you also have it on the top as well we took off all the borders and now we're going to place it on here and as I mentioned before it's really nice that you're able to customize this and the reason being is because I'm going to place this one right here first okay and then the reason why I like how you're able to customize this is because you're able to either open certain doors or I guess you could say slots and close certain slots as well so pretty much let's say my camera gear is right here that's actually where i placed it so we'll place the camera right here so this is the spot for my camera and i actually have a video hand stabilizer from roxat which is right here disassembled and the reason why i like it being open is because i could open this spot right here open just the top side right here insert that part in and then put the rest inside and being able to do that is so useful this is where i placed my follow focus system so i placed my follow focus right there also with the adapter and i do not have any issues as i mentioned before i have my two lens adapters right here and this is the telephoto lens and then this is the wide super wide angle and the macro lens and i like to place these in here and that's where i put my dslr which i'm using right now so i can't demonstrate that and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna close this part up now okay so now let's go to these two pouches right here that's in the front in this front pouch you have these two awesome looking straps that falls down it doesn't really do anything it's just for aesthetics when you open this part right here there's nothing in this part as well it just acts as a waterproof cover for these two pockets right here but it looks really nice everything feels absolutely amazing as i mentioned before when you open that up it exposes the two pockets right here and you're able to put a lot of stuff and it's relatively deep look how far my hand could go in there so it's pretty much 
my whole hand from the fingertip all the way to almost halfway of my forearm, which is really nice. You're able to put a lot of nice and useful things in this pocket right here. So what I usually do is I just put my Kamachi power bank and my two-in-one rock USB cable in here. I don't have much, at least in this pocket right here for now. Let's close this up. This pocket right here, this is where I usually put all my shaving kit right here just because I travel a lot and I like to carry pretty much everything in one spot for now. I put my Gillette razor in one of these slots. I put this one right here right next to it and it fits really well as you guys can see right there. One guard in one side and I put the other guard on the other side. So as you guys can see these are not relatively small so if you guys are wanting to put pretty, you know, like thick things in here, you're able to do that without having any issues. So I just leave this pouch for all my shaving stuff. Let's close that up right there. Side pockets. In this side, I'm gonna put my 13 inch MacBook Pro extension cord in here. And I'll also put a spare HDMI cable. So I'm just gonna put that in here. And then that's it. It fits really well. On the other side, this is where I usually put my MacBook charger as well. I, I'm actually using it right now just because I'm uploading a video so I won't show that but that's where I usually put it right here. It's just easier to access. Alright so now let's go on to this part right here and when you open up this protective cover it actually exposes a small zipper and you're able to put certain things right there. I just put like spare change and it's really nice because that front pocket also acts as a waterproof layer so you're not going to get anything wet or dirty inside of here which is really nice because I guess you could say it's like a dual layer which is really cool. So when you open that up it exposes the other side as well and this interior right here. I usually like to carry one pen and obviously from k &F Concept I like to carry their cleaning pen as well. So I like to insert these in that pen holder. In this side, I like to carry all my cables. So that I put the one by one USB hub right there and also a bunch of micro USB in this um, connector from this charging pen from EGDR for the world's smallest earphones. So I put all that in there and I like to strap it down with this strap to make sure everything stays in place. This side, I don't like to put too much in here. I just like to put two power bricks, the Samsung power bricks, and also the microfiber cloth on here. So let's put that down. And this is where I actually lay the shotgun mic right here, which is really nice. I also have the video hand stabilizer on here as well, which is really cool. It fits really well, surprisingly, and you don't have much issues. At the bottom of this right here, you have a zipper. This is where you're able to have access to the camera side. So let me show you guys real quick. So if you guys take a look right here, it's gonna be a little hard and difficult to notice, but you'll see a black line all the way around this bag. And the cool thing about that is that it's actually a zipper. So let me try to unzip this first. All right, and what this does is that it actually exposes it to the camera side right here. And the reason why I think this is really awesome is because now you're able to put super long lens in here or pretty much whatever else you're carrying. So if you have a really long lens, you're able to lay that side down and pretty much slide it through, which is really nice. I think that was an absolutely brilliant idea and I absolutely like it. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys have super long lens, do not fret. You're not gonna have any issues with this bag. All right guys, so let's close up this pouch right here and let's move on to the laptop side of it. So this is pretty much where you place your laptop right here. Um, I'm not too sure for other ones just because I don't have my brother's 15 inch MacBook Pro, but I did hear that you're able to fit a 15 inch and I think also possibly a 17 inch uh, computer right here, which is really cool. 
but I'm gonna demonstrate with my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. So you just slide it on right here with no issues. I'm also gonna be placing my iPad inside as well. And without any issues, it's able to slide in right there. And the cool part about this is that this zipper, it actually is really awesome. I think this is a really clever design. This part right here, it has a really nice zipper feel and it seals really nice. But what I love about it is that it's actually covered with this layer right here, all the way around. And the reason why I like that is because if this is on your back, it's almost nearly impossible to try to even get off or try to even open without having it, having you taking it off. Just because it's pretty much on your back and it's, it's really hard being pushed against it. And with that, it just makes it really difficult to kind of open up and it exposes both of your or either your laptop or your iPad or probably both. It just really depends what you place in here. But I really thought that was a genius, genius way to kind of make it really difficult and it's like a good deterrent for thieves. So it kind of like makes them think twice about trying to steal your laptop or pretty much things in here. All right guys, so I'm gonna close this part up right here. On the side of this backpack, it actually has two straps right here and it's really, really easy to operate. If you guys could see, I'm just gonna take this part off and I'm gonna put it back together. So it's really easy. You could put a tripod on here, which I did in that other video that I shot. And on the other side, it even has it as well. So that's really nice. It shows that you're able to carry two tripods. For example, if you're using a track system and you wanna carry the tripod with your backpack, you can. So that's a really nice touch that I absolutely love with this backpack as well. Uh, let's go in the back right here, or I guess you could say the front, because that's where you're gonna be pretty much holding it. This part right here, if you guys need a little bit more support, you're able to put this a little together. So if for whatever reason you, this is falling apart or you need it really close to your chest, you're able to use this strap right here, which is really nice, and then kind of like zip it through, which is really cool. So you have really good support, back support and everything on here. You also have another strap right here and you're able to put pretty much like whatever else that you, you want to kind of like hang off right here on your backpack or pretty much it just really depends what you want to put but you have a lot of nice compartments on here and even though they're small they're actually relatively big considering what you're putting on there so as i showed you guys um i'm not a professional photographer just yet i am you know very amateur at this but i would like to have you know like really good camera gear one day and i am building my way up but other than that i just want to show you guys what i did with the camera gear that i have from egg snow and i did receive it from global camera on amazon as i mentioned before and if you guys have any other questions, put them in a the comment box below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. All right, guys, like always, my name is Jefferson with the Starters Page, and take care.